What cleaning equipment do you need to start your cleaning company? Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. So what I did here on my board is I've listed some of the common uh, supplies and equipment that you'll need to start a cleaning company. And I'm going to just go through the list. And I also put uh, some prices on there. And prices will vary depending on where you get them. Uh, in some cases I have ranges. But... Um, you know that's the thing is that when we're starting a cleaning company we're going to have to have our basic uh, cleaning supplies and, and equipment and um, that's what my list is so to begin with you need a brute, a brute and a dolly so you need something to collect all your trash so that's going to run you anywhere from $55 to $113 now in some cases the brute and the dolly will be sold separate so uh, you know always make sure that you check into that um, you're going to also need a, a caddy uh, or, or a brute apron. Now those are to hold your spray bottles and some of your tools that you'll use as you're going through cleaning areas. Uh, that may range around $49. Uh, you're going to also have to have uh, spray bottles. <clears throat> so uh, generally you're going to probably have uh, three, probably three spray bottles in your caddy or your, your uh, uh, brute apron. Uh, those bottles may run you about $2.90 each. You're going to have to have cleaning solution to put into them. Uh, so you're going to have to buy some cleaning solution. Um, your cleaning solution, probably what you're going to start off with is an all-purpose cleaner, a glass cleaner, a sanitizer, disinfectant, uh, and uh, a neutral pH floor cleaner. That will get you started. So now when you're buying those cleaning solutions, always look for uh, solutions that are uh, dilutable. Because the dilutable product will make you a lot more ready-to-use product. And that's really what you're looking for. So when you go and you find a sanitizer that's uh, they're they're going to charge you, you know, thirty bucks or twenty bucks for for a quart bottle, uh, just remember that's probably a dilutable solution. So look at the label, see what that see what the dilution ratio is, and it will tell you exactly how many ready to use gallons that's going to actually make. Uh, in many cases, uh, you know, your cleaning solutions uh, will cost you pennies if you purchase the right products. So keep that in mind. Uh, whenever you can, try to stay away from uh, RTUs or what they call ready-to-use products uh, because essentially all you're doing is you're buying water. So try to stay away from those whenever possible. There will be times that, uh, like an all-purpose cleaner, uh, you know, there's a product called Whistle that I just, I, it's just a great product. And that's a ready-to-use product, but it's a, it's a great cleaner. It's an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, so, you know, there, there's times that I'll just buy, uh, you know, a, a case of that and have it on hand for some really tough jobs. Other cleaners that you may have is you're going to have to have a bowl cleaner. So bowl cleaners, you know, they come from anywhere from uh, 0 to 26 uh, percent acid. Uh, and again, you know, make your selection based off of the, the type of cleaning that you're going to do. Now your bowl cleaners, you're going to use them in, to uh, in uh, toilets and urinals. So, uh, you know, just be careful. Um, when you get into those higher uh, percents uh, you know, such as the 26%, uh, that's some pretty strong acid, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, I'd probably recommend that you stay around, uh, maybe around a 9%, uh, that would probably be a good uh, place to be. Uh, those bowl cleaners, and uh, they cost about 4 bucks. you know, those are a ready-to-use product. Uh, you have a stainless steel cleaner, because uh, you have a lot of, you know, stainless steel sinks, uh, drinking fountains, things like that there. Um, now you can either use a stainless steel cleaner, which is a cleaner polish, and or you could use glass cleaner. Uh, both work great. So it all depends on what kind of finish you're trying to trying to leave on that stainless steel. Uh, you're going to need gloves. So when we talk about gloves, you have your uh, your regular yellow uh, um, cleaning gloves that you'll see uh, people using. You know, those are going to cost you anywhere from a dollar to three dollars, depending on where you go. You can go to the dollar store and get those. Uh, or you can get latex uh, and other types of uh, uh, latex gloves uh, to where it will cost you about thirty dollars for a for 50 pair for a box. And uh, again, make sure that, you know, you're not allergic to latex and, uh, you know, that uh, you may have powder, powder free and so on and so forth. So, you know, you, you think that uh, with gloves uh, there wouldn't be so much to think about, but there really is. So you got to take all that into consideration. Safety glasses or, or goggles. You definitely got to have those because anytime that we're working with cleaning solutions, mixing it or spraying it, we have to have cleaning goggles on. So 
Uh, those will run you anywhere from 90, uh, uh, 90 cents to $2 a pair. Uh, so again, shop around. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a, a toothbrush and, or a grout brush you know, to get in nooks and crannies around the faucets and, and sink drains, things like that there. Uh, they're great for that. Uh, those are going to run you anywhere from $1.50 to $2 each. Uh, so again, shop around. You, know, you can get some really good deals on, uh, on uh, those, those brushes. Uh, it's a good idea to have a white hand pad. Uh, it's a 3M uh, white hand pad. Uh, they're just great for doing a lot of, uh, if you got to get, uh, you know, uh, agitate anything or break up some soils. Uh, they're probably the less likely ones to scratch something. That's why I'd recommend that. Don't ever use a green uh, scrub pad on anything. And also, whenever you do use a scrub pad, always use it with a cleaning solution or water. Those are going to run you anywhere, for, uh, well, you can get them at the dollar store for uh, two for a box, so... Pretty cheap. Uh, microfiber cloths, you know, those are going to run you anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar each, depending on where you get them. And I highly suggest that you get a, a color code system, uh, such that what we have a color code system in our uh, general training program. Uh, so it tells you to use yellow for uh, countertop sinks and things like that, uh, red for toilets and urinals, and uh, blue is for glass and, and uh, uh, mirrors and then we use a green cloth for our general dusting. So you definitely want to have a, a, um, a color code system for your microfiber cloths uh, because we don't want any cross contamination. So keep that in mind. Uh, bull brush, $2. Uh, you know, those generally last you a long time. Uh, you're gonna find that you're using a bull brush is much better than a bull mop. Uh, so that's why I recommend a bull brush. Uh, dusters, you're gonna have to have dusters. Uh, so we can do our high dusting and, and our, um, uh, short air, our short range dusting. So you may look for a, a microfiber duster that could be a 21, 21 inch duster. Uh, then you want to get an extension duster that will extend out to 8 feet so you can get corners of the ceilings and uh, edges and, of, of the ceilings and things like that. That way too you don't have to get on your hands and knees to do baseboards and th areas like that. Um, but you know those are going to cost you about 7 bucks um, depending on where you get them. Um, but that's about average. Uh, a backpack vacuum. You know, we, we got to have a vacuum cleaner and a backpack is probably the most efficient and most productive uh, vacuum you can get. Now, uh, there's many vacuums out there. Um, you know, and they, they all virtually use all the same parts and pieces. They're just throwing a different name on it. Um, so, depending on the, the situation or the type of cleaning you're doing, you may have to have a, a vacuum that has uh, HIPAA filters or not. It all depends. In most cases, you don't because most of these backpacks will, you know, will have a, a 10, 10 stage uh, filter system anyway. So uh, those there are going to probably run you about three hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, that's an average price. All these prices are averages. So you can you can figure about three hundred twenty dollars to buy a good backpack. And now, if you decide to go with an upright, and it's really personal preference on what you decide to do on your vacuums. Um, you know, people swear by, by uprights, canisters, backpacks, you know, very yada yada. Uh, it's personal preference. Uh, all I'm telling you is from uh, my 33 years of experience in cleaning that I know that a backpack is the most efficient vacuum cleaner uh, and that's why I use those. Don't get me wrong, I do use uprights when it's applicable. And uh, generally if I'm uh, uh, vacuuming large uh, open areas, I'll use a, uh, a battery sweeper, a battery vacuum sweeper, and or I'll use a wide track uh, vacuum cleaner. But uh, you, you got to match your uh, match your equipment to the job at hand. So, but anyway, a, uh, an upright vacuum cleaner will run you anywhere from $150 to uh, $400. Now, the one thing you have to remember is if you if you choose to you to purchase an upright vacuum cleaner, every manufacturer uh, of man, uh, vacuum cleaners makes disposable vacuums. It's a fact. So if you think you're going to get away cheap and buy a, you know, a vacuum that's uh, you know, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 150 bucks, well, you can. It's not going to last you though. It's, it's, not, to la it's not meant to last. Uh, the, the manufacturers are hoping you buy that because it's not going to last you very long. You're going to buy another one. And I'd probably say over a year's period of time, you're probably going to buy three or four of those, those types of vacuum cleaners. So if you think about that, let's say on average you're, you're spending that, you know, about 125 bucks 
uh, to buy that uh, low cost uh, upright vacuum cleaner. Did you really save any money when you have to buy four of them, three, four of them every year? Then you start multiplying that when you start building your business and you've got multiple locations where you may have 20, 30 vacuum cleaners. Well, think about that. You know, the, whenever you, you know, if you want to go the cheap route, you you actually end up paying a lot more money for stuff. So, uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, do it right. Um, you know, get some get some decent equipment, and that's what that's what I'm talking about here. Is these prices are for 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 uh, good good quality equipment. Um, so then you're gonna need mop buckets also. So I think it's always a good idea in your commercial cleaning is to always have a standard mop and bucket. And uh, you know those are going to cost you about thirty to seventy-five dollars. Uh, I'd recommend a down press. Uh, those are, are better. Uh, it uh, uh, you have less chance of water getting all over the place. Uh, now, when you buy your mop, your standard mop buckets, there's a lot of them to choose from. You can get various sizes and so on and so forth. You got some that have dual wells, and uh, you know just uh, make the selection that fits that fits you best for 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 what you're going to use it for. And, uh, you know, also uh, it's good to have flat mops, uh, microfiber flat mops. Uh, I think an 18 inch is probably the best size. Um, so you'll get an 18 inch uh, uh, mop handle, a telescopic mop handle that can be adjusted. Uh, you can use that for, for mopping all types of floors. And the nice thing about that is that you can use it for, for cleaning walls, wallpaper. You can use it for washing some windows. Uh, there's a lot of uses for a flat mop. Um, those are going to cost you probably around 35 bucks to get a flat mop and, uh, and a couple of pads. Uh, your, your pads may run you uh, maybe 50 cents to a buck and a half, depending on where you get them again. But uh, you, you definitely want to have that. And then, you know, the last item I have on here is a house broom dustpan. Uh, you know, you generally don't want to do any sweeping inside uh, inside a facility. Uh, that's where you just use your vacuums to collect all the soil and dust. Uh, you know, so don't be sweeping any floor, floors and things like that. Uh, your house broom and dustpan is used for the outside entries. So you can go out there and sweep those entries, get the cobwebs off the doors and things like that. Uh, those are generally going to cost you, you know, probably about 22 bucks total uh, for, for those. And, you know, you'll have them forever. I've got dust pans that I've had for, gosh, you know, probably over 20 years. Uh, still has, still has my first company name on it, <laughs> you know. So uh, same thing with I got a backpack, that same thing, uh, and I got some other tools too that I've had for for many, many years that that has my <clears throat> my first cleaning company's name on it. So if you take care of it, it's going to last you. So anyway, when you think about all these uh, all these uh, uh, supplies and equipment. Um, you know, this probably adds up to close to to a thousand dollars. You know, but this is the the standard uh, list that you probably want to have uh, if you're going to go out there and start cleaning. Um, you know, anything other than that, uh, you may find that you're not going to have the right tools or supplies on hand when you when you're out there cleaning. And remember, I guess you could always shorten this list depending on on your budget and stuff. Uh, you know, um, you know because. Even if you have a budget of five hundred dollars, you you might be able to buy some used vacuums uh, from a janitorial supply outlet uh, and look online. But again, you got to be careful about that. Uh, you probably don't have any warranties and things like that. But um, that is another choice. You can always go and get used equipment. Uh, many times, always watch for uh, cleaning companies that are going out of business. And uh, you know, there's quite a few of them that go out of business. Uh, you know, there's very few that uh, that last uh, five years. But uh, that's where you can get some really good deals on uh, vacuum cleaners, mop buckets, or and or auto scrubbers and burnishers and things like that too. You know. But uh, anyway, uh, this is the list that you need. And uh, you know, and I think if you if you just uh, uh, budget for uh, your startup, uh, just figure a thousand dollars for your equipment and supplies. Uh, you'll be in good shape, and like I say, now this here, this a thousand dollars that you're going to invest in this, this is going to last you a long time. You know, most of these items, uh, a lot of these, don't wear out. You know, sure you got to replace gloves and things like that there, but I mean, your 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 microfiber uh, cloths, they last a long time. Uh, you get hundreds of washes out of them. 
uh, your, your vacuums and your other, uh, your, some of your other equipment that I've talked about, you'll have for years if you take care of it. Uh, your cleaning solutions, if you buy the diluted uh, solutions, you'll be able to make uh, you know, many, many gallons of, of cleaning solutions, so it will last you a long time. So, you know, uh, so don't be, you know, don't be afraid of, because, well, geez, okay, Steve says I have to spend $1,000 just to get my uh, equipment and supplies started. But remember that uh, that $1,000 that you just invested is going to last uh, probably, uh, you know, six months, years, you know, depending on what it is. So, so think about it that way, and uh, uh, you'll be able to make them, uh, you know, th this equipment this is going to make you a lot of money. So think of it that way. You're going to invest $1,000, but you're probably going to make hundreds of thousands. So don't worry about it. Just uh, make sure you get quality equipment and you'll be fine. Well, that's all I have uh, for this video. So if you uh, like the information, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed to our video uh, channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, watch for more videos. We're putting out a lot of videos uh, and we actually have on our channel, we have hundreds of videos that are helpful for your cleaning business. So until next time, see ya.